I left the United States Army Recruiting Command about two years ago and the writing was on the wall then. You know, people would thank you all day long for your service as long as it's not them that's having to fulfill that service or the duty. With the House passing this automatic enrollment into the selective service, if we don't have anybody that's willing to step up to the plate and defend this nation that we live in, what do you think, what did you think was honestly gonna happen? Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I've been in the army for over 17 years and I'll tell you, man, I have experienced the good and the bad as with anything in life. Man, I have some memories uh, that less than 1% of the American population will ever have. You know, some good, some bad. You know, amongst veterans, there's a bond that, you know, 99% of the population won't understand. But we're at a time frame where patriotism uh, is almost a thing of the past. You got everybody that uh, is selfish in their own ambition and when that happens, I want you to think that who is going to fight on the behalf of this nation where people come here because it is known as the land of the free. Somebody has to pay the bill on that. And when I was in recruiting, the numbers were down. You know, the Marines uh, are not reporting that their numbers are down because they lowered their numbers but all the other branches, the numbers are down. You know, I would go uh, and be out and about when I was on recruiting and I would see, you know, uh, people's parents and they would say, thank you for your service. Oh man, thank you. You know, shake your hand and, and do all this. And I would I would ask, you know, I would see their sons when I say, hey, you know, uh, I don't know what your plans are. What are, you, what are your plans? You know, sometimes they were like, man, I'm, I'm working with the family business. I'm like, all right. And then sometimes they wouldn't have no plans or they would want to go to college, but didn't really know how to do it. Oftentimes I would tell people how to get access to grants and free money, even if they didn't join. A lot of it was uh, career counseling. And then for those people that, uh, you know, did not qualify for that uh, and wanted to do something that would open up a lot of doors, then I would put the opportunity down. Hey, th this is the army. You know, you got a three year, three to four year contract, you know, give you give you 50 G's and college money, you know, room and board, all of that. Or you got a six year reserve contract uh, that'll pay you uh, for being what they call a weekend warrior. Uh, and you have the opportunity to be active duty at some point if you get activated, you know. But with all this said, man, I'll tell you, man, the older women truly set the younger women up for failure. Man, they are actively uh, considering uh, including females age 18 to 26 in the automatic enrollment into the selective service. So if there is a draft and this thing passes uh, the Senate, man, you're gonna have some pissed off 18 to doggone uh, 26 year old women. And if you refuse or try to, uh, you know, deny it as a woman, you're gonna be a felon. All of this education that these older women take pride in, you no longer will have access to grants and different uh, pools of money that come from tax paying dollars to help you go to college. And you leave it up to me, man. I think they should up the age 
I think they should uh, skip the young women 18 to doggone 26 and, and get the range from about uh, 27 to let's say 45 because these are the population of women uh, that set the younger women up for failure. Imagine if your mother is one of these proud, independent, I don't need no man women and uh, wanna stand toe to toe with a man and here you are uh, 17 as a woman, as a young woman about to turn 18 and this uh, bill passes the Senate and your mama is not the one that's gonna have to go fight. It'll be you. She's brainwashed you all of this, all of the work of these older women uh, that have claimed onto this independence, that have fought for these uh, these pronouns, these genders, and uh, got out there and marched for their independence and equality. Man, boy, they sure set the younger women up for failure. And I truly mean that. You know, another thing, man, they need to put something in there to where if you are running for, uh, you know, a high level uh, official where you have anything to do uh, with any branch in the military, whether it be National Guard, whether it be Coast Guard, Army, Marines, Navy, you know, Air Force, man, you need to have have uh, at least one contract under your belt to be able to do to be able to, uh, you know, qualify for these positions, because back in the day, that's how it used to be. But now you have these officials, man, they're ducking and dodging and going to bunkers and getting their kids out of it. And I tell you, I guarantee you, they got something in that bill to protect their family, to protect them, but they don't have nothing to protect you. And if this bill gets passed and these women uh, get included in the selective service draft, you know, or enrollment, man, you're gonna have some pissed off young women because a lot of these women that, that, that talk tough really don't know what it takes, the intestinal fortitude uh, to stay in the army, to stay in the military, any branch of the military. Because there's some, there's some few, there's few jobs that are very cush, you know, and, and enjoyable. And then there's a, a, a bulk of the jobs that there's a gang of them. They got a whole bunch of them where you gonna get your back broke off. And if you don't have intestinal fortitude right now and then they put your uniform on you, chances are you still ain't gonna have it. But these older women are gonna get a lot of these younger women killed behind their agenda, their mindset, all of this feminism and, and gynocratic ways. But man, what did you think was gonna happen? Closer to Y'all Ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.